Man, look at this. Purified water. Yeah? For 40, but actually it says 50 here. But I was just thinking, like, holy shit, like how much you can live really good here now. They didn't have this when I was uh, here five years ago. Like, they had at the service stations. Some of the service... This is just at, like, a shopping centre. I'm here at Kiwana Shopping Centre, which is near the marina I'm living on now. And, and I was just thinking about, like, even if I had to go homeless here in Australia, I can shower at the beach, swim in the ocean, and be clean as. But it's not going to be an ounce of dirt left on me after you go in the ocean and then shower at the beach. Um, <laughs> And, and you drink purified water now. Like, when I was here five years ago, like, before I went to South America, there was um, things at the service station where you could get the water thing, but, like, that looks way better. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know, they had those osmosis machines, but I remember it being more expensive as well. That's really good to see, anyway. And then I've been checking out everything, like, uh, all the food prices and stuff how much everything has gone up. So much food has doubled just in five years that I've been gone. But um, there was like a food garden over here, like someone started like a little community food garden. They say don't pick it, but ultimately you could just walk in there and like eat it to save your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like unlike Uruguay here, there's a lot of like, um, like, plants that you can eat in the streets like edibles even just like uh, on the side of the roads and um, not as much here on Sunshine Coast but when I was living down there at Gold Coast you remember I made all those videos on food foraging the first videos in the um, $30 bandit food plant teaching playlist um, so I know down there is just you can kind of just go around all day and get yourself some wild lemons and squeeze it on like a homemade salad that you just gather foraging you know what I mean so things here are like progressing to a point that you could actually like live better homeless here in Australia than you could with money in a house in Uruguay it's crazy because like the amount of food that I can get here you're gonna see another video one Australian drink is superior to an entire country, Uruguay, because this kefir has 13 cultures in it, and all in the whole country of Uruguay, you couldn't get that. You couldn't even get six cultures, probably.